Yes, I know. It's a hard time for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, I gotta go. Hi, hi, hello, sorry, you know how it is. Meetings, meetings, hustle, bustle. Is that you, Chet? Shakes the name, intergalactic real estate's the game. Oh, sorry, you... You look like someone I know. <laughs> take a seat, take a seat. So the ad said you had a great two bedroom apartment that was just out of this world? Yes, the two bedroom with a cozy kitchen, but a surprisingly big sink. Mm -hmm. Right, so that one is located, oh, just 41 light years away. 55 Ken Cree. I mean, it's not the best name, but it is a nice planet. What? Planet? That's right, 55 Cancri E is a planet. An exoplanet to be precise. That means it's a planet that doesn't sit in our solar system. You know those bright, shiny things in the sky? Stars! Well, some of them have planets orbiting around them. And while we've been gazing up, speculating about their existence for a long time, it wasn't until 1995 that the first one was discovered. 51 Pegasi B was spotted by two Swiss astronomers who noticed that the star it was orbiting had a sort of wobble caused by the planet's gravitational pull. Zero in, the star. in 2009, NASA launched the Kepler Space Telescope. Its mission was to find more alien planets using something called the transit method. That's when a planet crosses in front of a star, blocking a little bit of the star's light. And it appears to be working because Kepler has found more than 2,000 exoplanets. And when you add those to the ones found using other methods, the exoplanet count now comes to more than 4,000. Which is great because I'm pretty sure I'm the only intergalactic real estate agent. Who are you talking to? Oh, um, my mother. And I don't actually want intergalactic real estate. I really just need a home here on Earth where I actually live. Good to know, because 55 Cancri E isn't actually a habitable planet. The the ground is lava. Like, literally, it's, it's lava. What? The exoplanets we've found come in all shapes and sizes. Some are rocky or gassy. Some orbit two stars. On some, a day lasts a year, and on others, a year can pass in just a couple of days. But the really big question is, is there anyone on those planets? Scientists think that the planets with the best chance of supporting life are the ones that are rocky like Earth, and sit in just the right spot in relation to their star, where it's not too hot and not too cold for liquid water to exist. And the exciting news is, we've already found hundreds of exoplanets that fit that description. In fact, in 2017, Kepler found a whole bunch of Earth-like planets orbiting a star called TRAPPIST-1. But before you go planning a holiday, they're 40 light years away, which means it would take about 700,000 years to reach in your average Earthling spaceship, which might be a bit of a commute to work for Amelia. Look, that sounds really cool and all, but I really just need somewhere I can live right now. Yeah, fair enough. Jack, I knew it was you! 